Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your Dell Latitude E5540 computer running the Windows 10 operating system. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in reset. Best man should say reset this PC. You want to left click on that. You want to open up this new settings window. Underneath recovery, if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on this get started button. Underneath choose an option, we have two options that we are presented with. Keep my files, which will remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. As well as remove everything, which will remove all your personal files, apps, and settings. Now keep in mind, even though it says keep my files as the first option, it's still going to be removing apps and settings. And depending on where you put your personal files or what you classify as personal files, it might not save them as well. So I would recommend creating a backup of some of your important files in either case be on the safe side to an external media source. But for the purpose of this video, because I'm doing a factory reset, I'm going to select remove everything, which will remove all your personal files, apps, and settings should take getting things ready, this won't take too long. And now you're going to be prompted if you want to clean the drives too. First option, just remove my files, is primarily if you're going to be holding on to your computer, or at least it's designed for that reason. And the second option will clean the drive if you're going to be passing it on to somebody else, or somebody else is going to be using the computer at a later date that's not you or whoever is currently using it. Most people are going to be sufficient just selecting the first option to just remove my files. So I'm going to select that. And there will be one final prompt here that says resetting will remove personal files, user accounts on this PC, apps and programs, and changes made to settings. Left click on the reset button at the bottom. This will begin the process at this time. Please be patient. It will take some time to run, and I will begin and resume the narration once we get further prompts that require our attention.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the End User License Agreement. You can use Express Settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So it looks like our Dell Latitude E5540 computer has restored back. So at this point, you should be good and ready to go to install any programs or applications that are removed in the factory removal process if you choose to do so. And once you're done getting your computer set up, I would suggest creating a system restore point or backup just as good practice but I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. 
And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.